Hey yo to Kev and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays today on Cactus Valley Leather Edition with a TVC. As we have in the red spawning in the top left hand side it is Kulka. And he's playing against me cross spawn in the bottom right hand side the uh, Blue Terran Alex Asher. Woo! I'm still somewhat active in this game. I didn't play too much, but I can compete with tier 1 uh, master guys in 50% of all cases, I think. Sometimes I lose to a diamond, can hit, can hit me as well. If they play really good and I had a break, sure, why not? That's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, when they win, most likely they played better. And I, I, oh, I, I blame balance way too often currently I really do on the other hand I know like in in my head thoughtfully I know balance doesn't affect me at all because I'm doing I'm making so many mistakes macro wise decision wise scouting wise micro wise of course multitasking wise but emotionally it's easier and more intuitive to blame balance than yourself for your mistakes which you most of the time don't even see. Ah, that that's the thing. But here it's it's all, all okay, both master player, good game, have fun. Uh, it looks like pool gas hatch, so a really safe opening. Circling's on the way. He can he can be very pesky here with those circlings. If he scouts and, and that's that's the thing with the new economy now basically on a four player map either you you have the reaper on the back but then you can't scout uh, for the ravager all in or you saw as you send the reaper out potentially scout it but then get hit by the by the fast circlings which can happen or you need to send an SUV across the map because you don't have flying overlords which can spot so good look at that he now spots basically both it doesn't cost the circ any money due to lost mining time if you would send a drone, which I would do, uh, would need with an SCV. So I don't like sending an SCV out. No, no. Sending an SCV out is. Bleh, bleh. It, it, it's so. No, no, no. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, it. It delays my build quite a lot. And even now, my build is not shaping up really good, but. You will see, he's sending out his his links just now so it wasn't a pressure build just a safe build and this I can accept but still six SCVs can deal a lot of damage because by the time they, they hit now with the speed I only will have two marines I drop a fresh mule that's something which is dangerous normally you should drop this mule here uh, reason the reason is I lose it and I lose those two SCVs as well so that's really good. I might even lose more here. No, sadly he pulls back. But that's a good start for him already, look at that. I needed that mule. I really needed that mule. Now he's ahead quite a lot in, in worker supply and an in income. The reaper survives for the time being. Uh, but my, my build is delayed because of the lack of the income. <gasps> I I did. Uh, I, I do have because of uh, the loss of the mule and the two SUVs. Yep, that's how it is. But I finally can scout with the Reaper. I should see something. Not sure if I can see the hatchery though, but I, I will try. Oh, I might get a drone kill here. Uh, ooh, nice. And I do scout the hatchery. That's good. The uh, circlings are coming back. Having this overlord here is nice but risky because it can get sniped so easily by marines. There are no overlords here which is questioning, uh, questionable. Uh, you won't have one overlord here, maybe one here or here, one here. Just to poke in and scout, maybe one here as well. Which you will lose then no matter what, having a uh, 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 Ling there would do it as well and this time I'm ah I'm moving out killing the overlord see that that's what I meant he's rallying overlords now across the map instead of using those he used initially for scouting he now loses the overlords mm, 
will supply cap him here a lot. And also, he will have to spend larva, he will have to spend more minerals, which will delay his build a lot. So this is good damage. This is good damage. Potentially you're dealing not 200 uh, minerals damage, but 400, because he needs to remake them. And he can't use those minerals for units he otherwise would have produced, like drones, which will inflict his economy even more, if you think about it. So, doing stuff like that, even so it seems like it's nothing, it's very huge. <coughs> Excuse me, Leia's coming up, there are the roaches, and there are too many roaches. Eight roaches, uh, and all of those queens, which definitely is enough. I did forgot the armory, so those hellions can't be morphed into hell, but good focus fire on the medevac. Will almost kill both of those, now he gets it. And I'm trading minerals against minerals and a little bit of gas, but I lost the medivacs. This trade would have been awesome if I wouldn't have lost uh, the medivacs, so it's even. If not even better for him. He lost four queens, is now on three left, which is enough for creep spread and injects, but not very good. He should go up to five or maybe even six again. And behind that, uh, getting finally a third command center, going up to 5 barracks. Looks like I'm going for tanks here. Which also can work against Roach Ravager. Tanks are really not that bad. So we will see how that uh, turns out. Ooh, 2 Vita Mine drop. This can deal a lot of damage if he's not careful, carefully watching. The upgrades are good for me. 1-1 one, one against 1-1. One, one. He's getting Glial Reconstitution. I'm getting my Concussive Shells. Pew pew! Let me see. He should spot this, but potentially he doesn't. His Grease Spread is looking quite solid. Could be a little bit better, but still it's solid. Oh, the Vita Mines! Can he get it? Oh, he doesn't get it! Ooh! <laughs> 6 kills, 12 kills! Oh! Ouch! That did hurt a lot. Uh, now he gets a spoke. Yeah, he didn't have an overseer here as well. Ooh, Ravager is ready. Uh oh. Okay, he gets one. Will he get the other one in time? P probably not. It could fire again. Oh! <laughs> Six more kills! Ouch! Okay, okay, that that was awesome for me. He supply cap. He was forced into making a lot of drones instead of army. But my macro is not solid at all, so he can deal lots of damage here. I don't have many tanks with this push. How many tanks do I have? One. Look at my army. My macro should be so good. It should be so good that I am on 150 supply now. At least one th 130, but I'm not. Ah, at least I'm killing some creep tumors, that's good. But I also should get a fourth command center ASAP. So I can stop mewling hardcore and use more scans. And also have stable income, because this is bad. Already, this is bad. At minute 9, the fourth base should be landed and saturated if you want to go for macro game. On the other hand, as a Terran player, it's really difficult to do this. The Roaches and Ravager are faster than the tank. Yep. But I was able to save both of them. It didn't stim at all. But here's a counter-attack. Good stand, killing all of those creep tumors. And maybe I can do more damage here. Uh, the fight is looking okay. 1-1 one, one against 1-1. One, one. My 2-2 two, two is not coming up now. Nice transfuse, I guess, on the drone. Uh, on the Roach. Losing one medivac, oh, that's not too good here. So overall, not the best damage, but I traded a little bit. Still, it's looking bad for me. Ooh, close! So close. Oh, really, those tanks up there to the watcher is bad. Oh, yeah, look at the supply. Look at the supply. It's not looking good for me at all. I. <laughs> I did good initially with the with the uh, drops, the Widow Mines did so much damage, which is what kept me alive in this camera thing. 
But being supply cap like that is really bad. It's just not good. Uh, small counter attack, he's attacking here, but into this bottleneck it's not good to do attack. Uh, he might get the refinery, not a huge loss, but nasty. Oh! One marine gets killed. On the other hand, now I can kill a lot of Ravager. Potentially. One, two, not three. Should have gone. I could have gotten four. But my micro was bad in this case. So that's that's also something which can happen from time to time. That micro. No problem. It can happen. There's another drop. 60 marines with 1-1. One, one, but in one minute they will have 2-2. Two, two against the 2-2 two, two from Koka. He's getting another base. I don't know why I dropped here. But it, it's it's the timing, you know. Spider senses, look at that! No cancel, bam, killed. That's huge. Ah, losing one marine there, two marines. But I can't drop, there is no creep spread here. Big mistake. And also nothing else. He's gonna spy on a... Ultralis cavern. Ah, I, I like the sensor tower. And now I can go in. Kill the queen, potentially kill more drones. Get the spire. No cancel. Get the infestation pit. No infestors for you, buddy. Okay. Uh, he got some infestors left, which is good, but uh oh. Can I kill the Autolus Cavern? Yes, still. Again, no cancel. He's getting another one on an infestation pit. But for now, I killed some good units here. Uh, dropping here, killing potentially a queen, but this time it shouldn't work. No, that's the end of this push. Drop. Here comes the push. Yeah, there we go. Still badly supply cap. Calling down supply, I guess. But I can deal some damage here, potentially. No, this is over. Oh, very good concave. He's getting some damage on the tanks, but they backfire so hard. Nice fungal growth. Uh, there's the scan. We'll lose. One infestor, maybe even a second one. Yeah, it's, oh, he has two left, so three in total should have been killed. And this is looking very bad now. He has so much money in the bank, but not enough gas. Yeah, the gas is on the thir third base, uh, fourth base are not saturated at all. He got a lot of roaches, but roaches are not that great against Marauder. If I would kite, but the tanks are not siege, and unsieged tanks don't have the best DPS. They have some nice damage, but not the best damage. And I'm pulling back for the time being, but still, this is looking good. Ultralis Cavern finishing now, finally. And I'm gonna grab my fourth base here, now. He's going for... Uh, for the wraparound, which could happen and could help. But now he pulls back. Potentially should have killed those rocks, which he didn't. Forcing out another scan is nice. Serpings with the speed, good for uh, closing the gap between his army and my tank line. But still, it's, it's looking dicey for him. Uh, not too good, I want to say. Uh, the tank's dishing out so much damage. 75! That's more than half of the, <laughs> of the health of a roach. Luckily for him, Ravager don't have uh, the armor tag. But still, this is this push is strong. I am on 100 army supply against his 50. I don't see any alternates on the way. And even if I got Liberator now and tanks, the fourth base is getting killed. He's behind 10 drones. His, his resources are not looking too good. And double starport behind this as well. Three starports in total so far, which should help me a lot with the Liberator. So, and he doesn't have the Spire, he knew he needs the Spire in order to get either Ultra, uh, 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 Mutalisk or Corruptor. Now he can't get them and kill the, the Liberator. He could try with the Ravager, but that's difficult with the tanks now. Yeah. And even if my, if my Bioforce is small, the kiting is solid. The tank line is spread out nicely. He's not killing any tanks. I think that's game. I'm kept on 180 supply. That's a huge mistake, but what else can he do? What else can he do? Look at the Ultralisk. 
Bam, bam! <laughs> Rip Ultralisk! Even with 6 armor, it's nothing against the 75 damage a tank dishes out. If you would have the same amount of Ultralisk that I have tanks, then this would work. But not like this. Not like this. Twitch me. And there we go. GG. I don't get any GG's lately. I can feel, I can taste the salt of those players. But I, I can understand it as well. It's it's really frustrating this, to play this game sometimes. So the salt is real and I, I can I can totally understand why. Okay guys, that's it with that episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.